So welcome to your first lesson in 1-2-3-D. We are about to design a spinning top. You know like Inception, like a spinning top? So let's hop right into the lesson and get started. Alright, so this is the spinning top that we're going to design. But this is just the one I designed. These are some of the other ones that some of my other students have designed. So be creative and design it however you think is best. But first I'm going to show you some design principles that you need to know. An angular force, your fingers, starts the spinning of your spinning top. Kind of like when a football player gets creamed on the outside of him and he starts spinning. Inertia and equal opposite forces pulling against each other, kind of like two people dancing, keeps the spinning top spinning. So you want a low center of gravity and then finally friction slows it down. So the the rubbing of the spinning top on the table, kind of like how you can start a fire with a stick, will actually slow it down and make it tip over. So once we're in 1, 2, 3D, we'll hit the top view. And then we're going to choose in the sketch toolbox the polyline tool. The polyline tool, you click once on the grid. Your second click will be the first point, And then we're going to draw a line that's 45 millimeters. So your next click will be the second point of your line. And you'll see it'll want to keep drawing a, a line. I'm going to hit the check box and that'll allow me to go back and choose another command. I'm going to choose the polyline command and my first click will be on the first polyline that I drew. That's going to tell 123D that I want to have continue drawing on that line. So I'll just draw a little tiny line there and that's going to be make it easier for the print to print the spinning top. I'll, I'll tell you more about it in a sec. So next we're going to use the spline command and the spline command picks a best fit line that goes through every point that you choose. So you'll see I'll choose a whole bunch of points and the line will automatically get drawn through all of these points. So this is going to be the cross section of your spinning top. Be creative and don't be afraid to draw four or five of them and choose the one that you like best. So you'll see once I finally come to the end point, it will automatically snap to the end point and show a box. I'm going to click that end point and then the check box. So what happens is now that we have an enclosed set of edges, we now have a face. So I'm going to revolve that face and I can do that from the gearbox at the bottom. I can use the revolve command or I can find the revolve command in the construct toolbox at the top. So first I want to choose the profile. I want to make sure it's blue, dark blue, and then the center axis, which is going to be the first polyline that we drew. And I'm just going to orbit up and you'll see I have a little rotate toggle button. So I can actually pull and drag this face around that center axis. But instead, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to enter 360 degrees. So I'm going to delete this here and I'm going to type in 360 degrees. So actually all I got to do is type 360. I'll delete that letter there and then it automatically revolves that face around 360 degrees. So that's our spinning top. We're, it's basically ready to go for 3D printing but this spinning top is going to be tough to print on a desktop printer. I wouldn't recommend this being your first print that you try to print. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the move command and you'll see that I have different options when I use the move command. I can drag the arrows and move it in those directions. I have the plane options and then I have the rotate option. So I'm going to use this rotate toggle and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that the top of the spinning top actually gets printed first. That's why we made that flat part so that the print bed would be able to set up a solid foundation. If any other point on the spinning top was tried to print first, it would only print a very, very small amount. So I'll just hide the sketches and you can see when I orbit to the bottom here, you can see how there's going to be a flat part that's printed first. So that's why we made the top square. It should make it a little bit easier but I would not recommend this being your first print. It will definitely be a great print to test your skills on your new 3D printer. 
Um, but so the last step we have is we're going to go to the main tab and we're going to export our STL. So this STL is going to be the file that you send to your slicing program that came with your printer. So you'll see I'll make a new folder and this new folder we'll call it our 3D prints folder. So now all your STL files you can put them in this 3D prints folder. So I'm going to export this STL as my spinning top STL and you'll notice that when I save things I like to do it in capital letters it just makes it easier for me to quickly find what I'm looking for so we'll export that and so that's ready for 3d printing so I hope you guys enjoyed that first lesson that spinning top is actually gonna be a little bit difficult to print on your desktop printer so I would suggest trying to print the next one first if it's your first 3d print so let's go do that Thanks for watching guys. Check out the next lesson on the left side and don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to see how your designs turn out on Twitter or Instagram. So let's hop right into the lesson and get started. No, not that one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs>